beat. I'm back with another video. Three P. Last year I was really like an emotional and mental mess. And I just really thank God for that like growth from that situation because I was just really in a bad dark place. Like looking at me, you probably couldn't even tell like in the moment that I was even going through anything but I was going through it like just a real rough patch and I was just really messed up like love will have you like going through some stuff for real but at the end of the day maybe that's not love think about it but yeah so you know I'm not gonna say every relationship is perfect but at the end of the day like I'm a very prideful person and I just, for some reason I want to be perceived as being perfect, but I'm not perfect whatsoever. And people will look at me and just think that like I have no care in the world, but I, I struggle with things daily. Like I'm not going to claim this on me because I have not been, been diagnosed with it. And I want to be healed from anything. And I, w I don't want to speak it into existence. I want God to heal it. But I feel like some days, like, I was really heavily in a dark place. Like, I felt like I was going through a state of depression. And depression is no joke. Like, no joke. And I really just... Oh, God, I'm so glad I'm, like, delivered from that. And I'm just in a better mental place. And I'm thankful that I had a friend to talk to. And I'm just so much better. Like, some days I, I do struggle. And I'm like, oh, like, I wish this would happen for my life. Or I wish I was doing this. Or, you know, just I have those days. But... I'm nowhere near where I used to be. I'm just so grateful for the mental level up because I was a really like just so messed up. But um, I just really, I don't know, like it takes time. And I will say that like it's not going to happen overnight. Like you really have to dig deep down inside. You have to do things that are going to make you happy. You have to find things that you like to do that will take your mind off certain stuff. Like, it really took a lot for me to get to where I am now, like, mentally. And I'm so grateful that I'm, I don't look like what I've been through because I've been through some things. And, you know, you cannot let... A relationship define you you cannot let a situation define you um, you cannot let people define you because only you can define you and that might sound corny or cliche but you know it's the truth and one day I was just so transparent with my friend about my situation because I wasn't I didn't tell anybody like what I was going through I didn't talk to anybody like I said I was a prideful person and I didn't want to express my feelings with somebody I didn't want to tell somebody what I was going through because I wanted to seem like I was perfect and we we have to live in our truth and sometimes I find myself not trying to live in my truth and that's why I fall short and that's why I really, like, fail myself in a sense. Like, I really have to come to realization and say, hey, you're human. You can't be perceived as perfect because you aren't. So, I was just so transparent with my friend one day. And I was just telling her, like, you know, this is what happened. This is my situation. And I had never expressed that with her. Like, she knew I was going through some relationship issues in the previous year. But one day, I just really broke down to her and, like, I expressed to her what I was going through or what I felt or the things that I was thinking and she was like wow like I never shared that with her 
and we broke down together and that's just something that i feel like when you're going through something you need to talk to somebody you need to let somebody know you need to be transparent because you never know who could be going through the same thing you are going through so it's really nice to have somebody to talk to and i'm grateful for her like so grateful for her because i feel like if i could have talked to anybody else i probably would have been judged and it's good to have a friend that you can talk to that will not judge you that'll just simply listen will give feedback will share um the same experiences or you know just to have somebody to talk to that you can really trust and i trusted her and i was very transparent with her and from that day forward like that situation that broke me i don't even like think twice about it now like it doesn't bother me now um you know it, it just is what it is for me and i'm just so grateful that i'm not i'm over it Sorry. i'm over it and you know I never thought that I would actually see the day. I was just really in a bad mental state that I was just like, dang, like, how many days am I going to wake up and I'm thinking about the situation? Like, it was taking control over my life. Like, I, it was just a devil, period. Like, just wanted to steal my joy, wanted to steal my happiness. And you can't let him win overall. Like, you, you just can't. Because that thing that you're worrying about or that you're concerned about, nine times out of ten it's not thinking about you or worrying about you so you know you can't let things take over your mental state but all in all like i'm here i live through it i survive and you know you can too whatever you're going through just know that this situation is not the end it's not the end like you'll live to see another day you'll you'll be happy again like you may not think that now but the situation that that you're going through is it's a test and you have to go through things in life to get through things and certain situations build character i'm grateful that that happened to me because in a sense it, hum it humbled me a lot and can't let these things break you like it's things that we think that we won't recover from or there's no coming back from and there is because in the end, God, God is gonna level you up. Money, the money, cause I be the baddie beat. Bobby tanks, banging body beat. Everybody beat on my D, yo, I gotta beat.